The next thing I just knew that was gonna take place in my own life was just the fact of me not picking up another book, me not wanting to read another book for class, me ready to graduate, and me ready to sit down for a little bit because I was burnt out. Welcome to the Speak Your Success Podcast. What's going on, successors, and welcome to the Speak Your Success podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and today, kicking out the Monday motivation, a little bit different today, uh, just the other Friday, the last episode that we did, I broke down how I started my t-shirt printing business, and as you can see, I'm wearing my own apparel now, which of course is available on the jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash products on my website. You can pick up the sweaters, you can pick up the hoodies, you can pick up the t-shirts, all that great stuff. So I would encourage you to go back and check out that episode if you have not heard it yet. I believe this episode 236, 236, and how I started my t-shirt printing business under $300. But today I want to talk about those, and I want to address just those uh, student athletes, those college students, those young professionals. Today, I want to talk about the power of forward thinking. How can we get ahead if our thoughts are still behind, right? So I want to go back and just think about my senior year in college. I'm headed into like my assessment class or a statistics class. I'm not even sure which one it was, but I was not great at math. We've talked about that on the podcast multiple times. And then I'm heading into my class, and I, I turned to one of the gentlemen sitting next to me. He said, John, man, are you ready? And I was like, ready? Are we, we have a test today? He was like, nah, man, are you, are you ready to graduate? And I was like, yeah, I'm ready to graduate, man. I'm ready to be done with this place. He said, well, he, he was like, yeah, I, I just came back from, from my professor up the, up the hall. And I was like, what'd you get from her? Because he had an envelope in his hand. He was like, oh, this is my letter of recommendation. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I was like, letter of recommendation for what? You know, your job? Uh, you know, grad school. What are we talking about? He was like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to grad school." He was like, "You didn't get a letter," and I was like, "No, nah, I don't. I, I don't think I did." And he was like, "Okay, well, hey man, well don't worry about it. No big deal." And at that time, I didn't really process through and didn't really factor in what he really was saying to me. He was saying that he was preparing for what came next in life. And at that moment, at that time, the next thing I just knew that was going to take place in my own life was just the fact of me not picking up another book, me not wanting to read another book for class, me ready to graduate and me ready to sit down for a little bit because I was burnt out. Anybody? Is there anybody else? I know I'm not the only one that during that senior year of college, like, yeah, we can call senioritis. But on the other side, we can just say we were tapped out like we were done. We're like, I don't want to see another book. I don't want to read another book. I don't even want to spell the word book. So thinking about that and thinking about everybody else around me, it seemed like everybody else around me was prepared for what was next. Multiple people getting letters of recommendation. And I said that I wanted to do counseling, right? And understanding that I wanted to do counseling, it was required for me to go to do to go to grad school, for me to pursue that career and be in that particular field. But I wasn't forward thinking and taking the proper precautions to get me there. So now if you're a high school student listening, if you're a college student listening, or even if you're a young professional and you're trying to figure out what does forward thinking look like for you, I want to share just three principles or three points. And hopefully this is some level of assistance for you and uh, it aids you in the right direction. The first thing I want to say is you have to identify what is the plan. What's the plan? For me, the plan was to go to college, get my degree, and then ultimately I wanted to counsel. But I didn't know that there was a step within the step, and that was graduate school would be the B, and then the C would then be me being able to go out and counsel after I got those credentials, after I got that certain level of accreditation. So I didn't have the plan. What's the plan that you need to begin to put in place so that you can start your business? What's the plan that you need to begin to put in place so that you can hmm, go to grad school, so that you can really get on path to pursue your career? Is it even you going to college? Is it going to trade school? Is it getting with a coach? 
Is it investing some professional development? Is it getting some speaker training? There are so many different areas where you can begin to assess which step you need to take first. So that's plan. But the second thing is resources. What resources are you beginning to allocate towards this plan, towards this goal, towards this dream? Are you getting a side hustle to where now you can take some of this money from your side hustle? And like I talked about in the last episode, I began to buy T-shirt printing equipment. I began to buy T-shirts. Or you have, you know, you work part time for Uber. You begin to take this money and put it to the side so that you can go to a conference, put it to the side so that you can invest in a coach, put it to the side so that now you can buy books and get different reading materials that you know would influence you to getting towards your goal. So plan, resources, and the last one is relationships. I once heard it said before that your network will determine your net worth. Or you can say it the other way. Your net worth will determine your net worth. Either way, you have to begin to take a personal inventory of who is in your circle. Who are these people that are connected to you? Why are they connected to you? Are they adding value to you? Because when I was in college, the people that I was connected with was the people who knew where the parties were. People were connected with me because I knew where the parties were. But ultimately, after I graduated college, that did nothing for me. Then I then after I graduated, maybe a year or two years passed, and I knew a couple of my friends were still at college. I said, let me go back and let me see what's going on the campus because I remember I walk in the party and say, John, hey, JJ's in the house. And I was like, hey, what's up, guys? What's up? But then I went back and then people were looking at me crazy because I had to understand that the relationships that I built during that time were only to serve me in that season. Who are the people that are in your relationships, in your corner, or in your circle who are not serving you at all? They're just using you. They may be abusing you, and nobody benefits. Like, it's not a mutualistic relationship. So in order to become a true individual who is focusing on forward thinking and making sure, making sure that you're able to begin to get these tools in place so that you can assure yourself success. You got to have a plan. You got to allocate resources to that plan. And the right relationships will help you get in rooms that you never thought you'd be able to get in. Help you to close deals that you never even knew were on the table. Because I've really began to see how influential this is in this business of speaking and even with me doing T-shirts. Because now I'm finding out about events. And, of course, people need shirts for their events. So I'm like, hey, how can I help you? How can I serve you there? But on the other side, people like, John, I saw you speak here. I'm close and connected to you by way of a third party. And I trust the third party. And they said that you're pretty good at speaking. So come on into my event, John. I want you to speak for me. Because that currency there is way more valuable than you stepping up and saying, I'm a great speaker. Book me. Bring me out. People do that all day, every day. Of course, they promote themselves. Why should they not? But then when you have somebody else vouching for you, then that's when you know it makes a world of a difference. My friend, today I challenge you. Today I encourage you. Today I implore you to see what can you do that will get you one step closer to starting the plan? What can you do that will get you one step closer to beginning to build and allocate resources? What's one person that you can begin to talk to today and form a genuine relationship? When you begin to piece those pieces of the puzzle together, then you won't just be a forward thinker, you'll be a fast forward thinker. My friends, as always, we encourage you, if you felt there was value from this episode, we would encourage you just to share it with one friend. Share the episode with one friend. If you think that it can help them out, pass the link on. Or if you're like, John, this was really good. I want to just give back in some way, shape, or form. Then I would encourage you, wherever you listen to podcasts, I would encourage you to rate the podcast. Just type in Speak Your Success and rate. We hope it will be five stars. And then leave your feedback. Let me know how we can grow. Let me know the different topics you want to hear. Shoot in an email. 
to info at jonathanjonesspeaks.com. I would love to unpack a topic for you, and I'd love to even shout you out like I shouted out Lorraine just last week. And friends, as always, you know we have the merch, jonathanjonesspeaks.com forward slash products. Or if you're like John, I like your message. I like how you rock. I rock with you. I want to bring you out to my school. I want you to speak to my organization. I want you to speak to my college, my university, whomever it might be. Same thing. You can shoot an email to info at jonathanjonesspeaks.com. Or you can go to jonathanjonespeaks.com, and then we have a booking tab just at the top. Fill out that form, and then we will reach back out to you ASAP. Until next time, my friends, this is TEDx speaker and best-selling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way.